Hi, welcome to Biomax. My name is Ana González. I have worked at Max4 for, for two years and I have been the Beamline Manager at Biomax for the last couple of months. Biomax is a macromolecular crystallography beamline. Here we take diffraction patterns of molecules such as proteins and nucleic acids and we determine the three-dimensional structure with the, with the data. It is the first beamline at Max4 that became operational. We've had users since 2017. It is designed to be a very versatile beamline. Uh, it is a microfocus beamline, which means that we can uh, measure data from very challenging crystals, only a few micros in size, but it's also optimized for conventional crystallography experiments, phasing, and high throughput data collection. Here we are in the, uh, in the experimental hatch of Biomax. This is the room where the X-rays interact with the sample. When they get here, the X-rays have traveled 40 meters from the uh, undulator source at the high energy R3 Max 4 ring behind that wall. This is the, the standard setup for the experiment. The sample is mounted in a, in a standard mount here at the tip of the diffractometer. Uh, we rotate the sample around the vertical axis during the experiment. We also have another rotation axis, the mini kappa, which allows us to change the orientation of the crystal during data collection. The crystals are kept in a colder stream at 100 Kelvin to delay the onset of radiation damage during the experiment. This is the detector we use to measure the diffraction data. It is a Dectrisiger uh, 16M. Uh, it has a very large surface area and it can collect images to a, to a rate of 100 Hertz. That means that we usually can collect an entire data set in 40 seconds. To mount and dismount samples in the X-ray beam, we use the Sara robot. It's a very fast instrument. It can mount and dismount a sample in only 25 seconds. The crystals are stored in liquid nitrogen inside this UR, which has capacity for 464 samples stored in 29 unipacks. Today we are in the control room of Biomax. This is the place where the users uh, typically uh, run their experiment from. But today we have no users. Uh, they are actually collecting data from home. So that was one of the big advantages of implementing all the, uh, all the automation in the beamline, that the users do not actually need to come to Max4 to collect data. Instead, they just send their samples to us. Uh, we load them in the uh, in their robot UR, and then from that point onwards, they take uh, full control of the experiment. They log in to, um, to our computers remotely from home or from work, and they use our uh, beamline control software to collect data. So we started uh, implementing remote operations in October 2019, and uh, since the travel restrictions due to uh, COVID-19 started, uh, we switch operations to, uh, to remote. So right now, over 90% of the users are collecting data remotely, and that allowed us to continue operating the beamline normally through the entire 2020. In the near future, we will continue developing new tools to improve the efficiency and reliability of the beamline. We just opened to general users FragMax, our fragment-based drug discovery platform, which will benefit enormously from increased beamline automation. We are also developing sample delivery tools for uh, serial crystallography. This is critical for the success of Micromax, which is a brand new macromolecular crystallography beamline which is just being built and will open its doors to general users in 2022. Micromax will have a one micron beam size and an intensity of up to orders of magnitude better than Biomax. This will allow us to do time result experiments, which are currently the um, last frontier in macromolecular crystallography. Together, Biomax and Micromax will make of Max4 a prime facility for macromolecular crystallography experiments. So thank you and see you at Biomax.